We are going to integrate x squared times ln of 1 plus x by using power series expansion. First, notice that ln of 1 plus x is the same as sigma where n goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to n's power times x to the n plus 1 power over n plus 1. And I have a video on this. But then in the back of the book, they like to have x to the n power instead. This is what we can do. Look at this formula here and plugging m minus 1 into all the n. So just look at all the n and subtract 1 from it. So we are going to get this is negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power. And then for the x to the n plus 1 power, if you plug in m minus 1 into here, it's just like, you know, just have n power, just like take away with the 1. So we have x to only the n power. So it's like I plug in m minus 1 into the n, but then I have 1, so I have the n power. On the bottom, we have n plus 1, but then I subtract 1 from the n, so we have n on the bottom, just like that. And then to compromise the change in our formula, it's kind of shifting, things like that. We will add 1 to our starting n value. So we have sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity. So this and that are equivalent which is the same as ln of 1 plus x. That's the um, series note, this is the, the series expansion for that. Anyways, here we are going to go ahead and integrate this, which is uh, integral of x squared times ln of 1 plus x, which we know we're going to use this now. So multiply by sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we have negative 1 to the n minus 1 power times n to the x to the n power, sorry, x to the n power over n, and then dx. And then we work this inside out. Here we have the x squared, we will multiply with this x to the n power, and then we will have integral sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, this is negative 1 to the n minus 1 power, and then we will have times x to the n plus 2 power over n on the denominator. And this is still the dx. And we can finally integrate. This is just the number term, and this is the function part. And we just have x to the n plus 1, I mean x to the n plus 2. So we add 1 to the exponent, and then we divide it by the new exponent, which will have n plus 2 plus 1, which is plus 3. That's the reverse power rule. And you see it's so much easier to integrate uh, power series because it's just integrating polynomials using power rule backwards. All right. Remember, we always have the plus C whenever we do integral, so I will put on C first, C plus the rest. The result of this integral, we will have sigma where n goes from 1 to infinity. And whenever we integrate, um, we don't lose the term, so we still start with 1 or 1 to infinity. And then this is just negative 1 to the n minus 1 power. And then here we have x to the n plus 3 power over on the denominator, which is put them together, n times n plus 3. And this right here will be the result for this integral. And then also I want to make a remark. The radius conversion for the ln of 1 plus x was that r is equal to 1, right? And because we integrate that function, the radius convergence stays the same. So we can also say that the radius convergence is also equal to 1. And with that being said, this completes uh, this question.